Hey friends, we're taking a look at Tesla today. TSLA is our ticker. Daily bears are in full control, possibly setting up a daily equilibrium, whether high, low, lower, high, maybe a higher low. We got a long, uh, long way down to 329.88. So hopefully bulls can pull something together before then. What's the likelihood of them doing that? Well, let's take a look. On the daily time frame, we have an area double bottom support. This is probably more eloquently displayed on the four hour time frame, but we can see that we had two days of consecutive lows of consolidation at 30. 360.56 uh the next candlestick was 360.50 so a six cent spread over two days that's a, a good notable area of support and on the daily time frame we are currently at 46.80 we're happy with the rsi jump to the four hour time frame there's that consolidation coming into play again on the four hour bears are in control starting to slow down a little bit so what we can do is look and I sort of expect continuation on the hourly time frame whatever that looks like to the 30 360 50 level then we can look for a little bit of a trend change in that area if we lose that no big deal on the daily time frame um because we've got that daily equilibrium support so what we're going to watch for is the hourly and the 15. i can tell by looking at this chart that this is not a, an hourly trend even though we've got big wicks to the upside and the downside it's all about the 15 minute chart here and here we can see it more properly displayed with our nice uh, sideways action, a nice little contained box. Then we got our lower highs, lower lows, and now we've got a beautiful 15 minute downtrend. What we're gonna need to do is change the trend in this area early tomorrow. We have a lot of time in after hours to do it as well, but I'd love to see it take place in regular market action, or regular market hours, I should say. And what we would want to see would be a continuation of this 15 minute trend. We're gonna look for some bull volume to pick up in the area of support. Then we're gonna look for a 50 minute trend change where we set a higher low and a higher high break that higher high show that bullish intent and see if we can't get ourselves an hourly trend change over the most recent high get over top of our ema 12 resistance and see if we can't change the course for a nice four hour bounce off of that support we have so much work to do to change the four hour hourly 50 minute trends not even uh, going to discuss the hour the requirements to change the daily trend there's a lot of work to do here for the bulls but we are in an area of pretty important four hour support at 360.50. We're gonna keep a close eye on those trends and those supports. If we lose 36.50, we got our daily support at 327.88 and below that 308. If we lose those, that daily equilibrium is over and we are looking bearish for at least the foreseeable future. Either way, a lot of work to do. Technical analysis is all about preparing for different scenarios and being able to understand what's happening and to be able to react to what's happening. That's why we take a look at all these different time frames and try to get an assessment of what we think the most likely outcome is gonna be. And when we have that information in our head, we see the pattern develop or the price action develop exactly the way we anticipated. We are confident enough to enter, pull the trigger, get our entry, and then be in the best possible position for a profitable trade. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments. Happy to answer them. If not, Thanks for watching and take care.